Hey everybody, welcome to part five and the last part of this little mini series on how olive oil is made. Here we are at the final stages of production where the bags have been brought into the uh, mill or to the olive oil factory and are ready to be unloaded. What this fellow is doing now is once they're being brought into the hopper area where they're going to be opened, he very simply takes a utility knife and starts basically just cutting open where the bags were tied in the field where we saw from the last video. Now, this part is really not that exciting. What is critical here though is to make sure that whatever bags were picked up from the fields are actually pressed as part of your, um, as part of, uh, your, your order or your lot, if you will. So here, once these bags are emptied out, which are pallets of 15 bags, uh, then the rest of the process can start and from there it can uh, continue on. So once the bags are finished emptying into the hopper there, they are slowly moved up the escalator, the olive escalator, into the next uh, step or the next phase of the process. Here basically they are controlled in terms of the amount of olives that are actually brought up, ensuring that the olives continue to get cleaned and properly processed. Here you can see the vacuum cleaner uh, vacuuming or sucking up the leaves and the debris that's light from the olives and it just separates them and from here they are thrown into uh, a bath of water where they are washed all the impurities, whatever, um, anything that was left on the olives for whatever reason. Uh, here the olives are separated from the leaves and the debris and are vibrated and washed. And they are brought to this machine here that actually shakes the olive and separates it and then it goes through a power washing process or a power cleaning process as you can see here. This is actually fascinating because they never use the same water twice only because of whatever um, uh, different uh, diseases one field may have. They don't want it spreading to the other so they never use the same water to clean them and it's just safer that way for everybody. So as they move along here they're being cleaned then they get kind of washed off and strained or drained and they're moved on to the next uh, part of the process which is actually now they're going to be raised again into another escalator or elevator where they're going to be pulverized or crushed as part of the main olive oil uh, compression process. In past they used to do this in pictures a few people have seen maybe uh, with a couple of horses or a horse uh, turning in a circle with a, a, a milling stone grinding the olives and then the, the olive oil actually running off the stone. Well in this case this is a modernized version where here you can see the olives are brought into a, um, a mulcher if you will and they are completely pulverized. In this part here is the key to this whole process these are the decanters where the olive pulp is actually churned and it gets churned for about 45 minutes to an hour depending on, uh, on the, the amount of olives there are and their doneness. So here you can see uh, the olives are turned and this is a blend of the, of the whole olive, uh, the, the skin, the pulp and the pit. Uh, you can see the glistening, that is actually the, the unfiltered or raw olive oil that's being uh, turned from these olives. Very, very exciting process. Very few people have actually seen this, but this is the very early stages of your extra virgin olive oil and where it comes from. Once this phase is completed and this stage is completed, the, the straining process begins or the separating process begins between the actual uh, stuff that we don't want from the olive and the actual olive oil. Here you can see the, the 
the centrifugal separators starting to the first stage of separation from the water that, we, that was used to actually separate the, the pulp from the oil and it's being discarded here. If you notice, look at the color of, of this liquid coming out. That is a real color of extra virgin olive oil. It is not yellowy, it is not really a pale color, it is not really dark, very dark. It's actually that medium green or the color of the olives. Here you can see the centrifugal separators and that is the final stages of where the olive oil comes from. It is spun at a very high speed and from there the olive oil which is lighter gets separated from the water and out comes the green gold. This is where all the money is here. Not literally but figuratively. That is my finger. I use that always to test and kind of try out my olive oil. It is absolutely magnificent. You cannot get more fresher or more organic than this stage here. This is going directly from the olive fruit to the actual oil. And that makes a guy like me very, very happy. The next step here is it is being poured into the weight scale. This is critical in terms of the commercial aspect of olive oil. I need to know exactly how much olive oil I've produced based on the number of bags that I've brought in. And the golden number here always is at least 10 or 20 to 22 percent. Once the oil, olive oil reaches this point here, excuse my stuttering, it gets sent to the pumping station where my dear friend Angelos is actually placing them in the tins. These are 16 kilogram tins that are electronically uh, weighed at the olive oil uh, mill and this is what I bring over. If you notice, there is no filtration, there is absolutely zero blending of any kind. It is pure, unadulterated, extra virgin, 100% olive oil. It is organic and there is no other step to this. This is the, the, the same exact stuff that I offer to my friends and family here. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little journey through my world in the olive oil production business. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like this and ask me any questions. Thank you.